Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. So, I've been doing some stuff in between. We actually met a wandering trader and bought ourselves a globe. So let's cut to that real quick. Hello, quick, quick cut into whatever video this is going in. Um, I look like a mess, ignore that. Uh, it's just because I've been doing some off-camera work and I found a wandering trader that turned up. Um, so, we've got some emeralds because we've been doing off-camera trading and whatnot and I want that globe. I want that globe badly. Let's grab that and maybe grab an acacia sapling and then we kill. This axe, by the way, so good. Um, and now we've got some leads as well. Lovely. So we can actually capture this boy and put him somewhere. But anyway, I just wanted to go through that so we can we can have a little clip of me doing that. And yeah, then we've been doing other little bits. So I moved everything in front in the end. I decided I just wanted to get rid of the mound of dirt that was here. So I kind of flattened it. I moved the trees from over there over here to make it a little easier to harvest. Um, we got a we got this from the wandering trader. You would have seen that. Um, I then oh no, okay, it's fine. Oh, it's not loaded. And cha. Um, I then just did a little bit of work on the farm just to kind of big it up. So we did have the beetroots on the little farm over there. So I've now made them a big farm. We've got the cactus growing. Uh, we've got the carrots, potatoes, wheat, uh, pumpkins, melons, sweet berries, and lots of sugar cane. And while we were doing this, I decided to set up a little guy here, and he sells us all sorts of things. I would have preferred a pumpkin trade, but win or lose, we've got potatoes, carrots, and we can buy all sorts from him, including gold and carrots, which is nice. Um, and then I decided to, one, I've been, while I've been doing all that farming, I've decided just to try and breed up a, a mega chicken. Uh, so currently 408 there. Uh, he's only getting bigger. We're going for a thousand. Um, but while we were doing that, I also decided I would work on the other villagers, the ones we had in here. And that's why you can hear all of these noises. We've got ourselves just a Fletcher to sell sticks to. This guy, because I was hoping for an Ender Pearl trade, but we get the Bottles of Enchanting. Um, I might do another Cleric to try and get, like, here to try and get an Ender Pearl trade. Uh, we've then got an Efficiency 4 guy. Um, and he also does Punch 1. Kind of pointless, but he does Bookshelves. And we've got a Mending guy for very cheap. Nine Emeralds for Mending. So very happy with that. Um, I did this off camera because it was just going to be a lot of like cycling through trades until I got what I wanted. Um, I also did some mining while I was off camera just to get some more goodies. Um, and I'm trying to repair this pick which I enchanted with mending. We're going to do some enchanting this episode. Um, actually, let's do it now. So, we've got the efficiency the mining speed and the chipped jewel that we're going to put all on this pick. So we're going to do this, which now reduces its capacity, but increases its mining speed. Then we're going to do this for four levels, which will make it even faster. I should have just probably regular enchanted that. That's really annoying. Um, Oh well, I guess. Um, it is what it is. Uh, and then what we'll do is, I think, if I'm correct, we can enchant the Vault Axe. So let's enchant that. Looting 3, Knockback 2, and Breaking 3. Not bad. Um, actually, not bad at all. And while we're at it, let's enchant one more piece of gear, maybe? Respiration 3, Aqua Affinity? Sure. Um, let's just do it all. Uh, limited enchantability. We can't seem to do the pants for some reason, but that's fine. 
Um, I don't mind. I don't mind that. That's um, that's gonna do us quite good. We could maybe just for the sake of. Uh, do I waste it? I don't think I do. I don't think I'm gonna waste it. I might though. Um, no, I don't. I don't think there's anything else I want to enchant um, right now. Because if you go below thirty, obviously you can't do the level thirty enchantments. Um, let's put this away for now, and let's talk about what we're gonna do this episode. Oh yeah, did we want to put anything else on there? Does this add plus three, or does this make this a? What would that make that? Eight point seven. Oh wait, see, so it does add plus three. Maybe that's worth it, just to really speed it up. Let's do it. Let's get plus three on there. So now this will be a really fast pick. Let's see if I can find just a little bit of stone, just to see how quick it is. Oh, that's quick. Okay, that's really good, because that's what we want for spawners in the, the dungeons. Um, so perfect. What we are planning to do this episode is though, um, for now I'm going to go and put that in our, I'm going to put that in our thing here. Uh, let's take that out, let's take that out. We need to process a little bit more of this anyway. Um, let's put all of that in there. What our plan is I think for this episode is we'll set up a crystal to see if we need anything because we might need to go and find some stuff for it. So I've actually moved all of the vault stuff over here. Um, so we need four of these and one of these. Oh yes, also we're gonna make a bounty table. Um, as you can see in this top bar here, I've, I've put some things up here. Um, mostly it's the ability to make a knowledge star because we could do with getting into some mods. Um, the bounty table, which will give us more loot at the end of a vault. Uh, and let's make a vault shard as well. Uh, let's put this in here. Uh, put all of this away. We don't have the room to put it away, I see. Uh, take that out for a second. Do that, there we go. Um, so now we have a bounty table as well. So we can put that here. So the bounty table, you get stuff for doing stuff in vaults, so this will make more sense in a second. Find seven silver scrap in the vault, and that will get us a shield, uh, seven vault silver, and some painite. This one is mined for Beniatite, that'll get us some diamonds and some vault bronze. And this one is complete a vault, which will get us a sword, some steel, and some bronze. So I'm going to take this one, even though completing a vault we might not do, I know we've been very lucky to complete the first two, but I would like a... Uh, well, actually, we, we've we got a sword. Maybe I abandoned that one. Oh, I didn't realise it was going to just throw it away. Oh, uh, that's a bit annoying. Um, shoot. What's silver scrap again? Do we have any silver scrap? Is that silver scrap? Do we have any silver scrap? Uh, I don't think we do. I don't think we've ever found any of this. Um, that's bad. Um, well, we've kind of we've kind of scuffed this now um, because I don't think we ever mined any beniatite. But we can look for beniatite because we could do with the diamonds anyway. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have a look at what we need for this. I think this is actually all doable. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, five more, two carrots, one sand. Got it. We'll come over here and we'll do one, two. And then we just need one sand. Cool. Uh, so we've got our sand. Let's chuck that on. And now our vault is ready. Uh, let's just put this away, but we're not going there yet. I think the plan initially is to do this. We've done the villager trading because I did that off camera, so that's cool. Um, but we need to go and raid, uh, not HM, we need to go and raid this place. Because what I've learned about villagers is if they're a nitwit, uh, they can't do anything. 
They can't learn jobs, they're just useless. And I'd like to fill downstairs up a little bit. So, I think the plan is, and we could maybe, depending on how quick this horse is over here, we could maybe uh, kind of ride the horse over there, maybe. <laughs> We can chuck this on him. Do you know what? He is a little speedy, actually. Let's take him off of the. Oh, let's take him off of this for a second. Oh, he's not bad in speed, is he? What's his jump like? Wait. His jump's okay. Two block jump. I think we're gonna take this boy over there. Let's do this. Don't go far. Cool. Right into the first building we go. What's in here? We might take the books. Um, let's see, empty map. I reckon that's fine. Uh, oh, we did bring an axe, nice. Because the vault axe doesn't actually work as an axe. If you look, that was how quick an iron breaks. This is how quick a, a vault axe breaks. I mean, it doesn't take any durability. So it's not the worst, but the iron axe is a bit quicker. Uh, looks to be everything in here. Raiding party, out. Uh, I think we've got everything that was good from here. We can now go and whiz on back on our good old steed. Let's press the button now. Make our crystal. And let's jump into a vault. We should hopefully be able to get some good experience out of this and maybe we can do some more enchanting. Um, if we can finish it, that would be wonderful. Maybe we can get another piece of vault gear that we're looking for. Ooh, very pretty. So we're heading west again. Um, so that's fine. Let's head west. We're gonna try and remember as much as possible to mark our directions as clearly and easily as we can. Two monoliths again which is really good. Um, so remember, we can always use our... Oh my god, that was the wrong button. Observer. Um, and have a look for anything in here that is a obvious green mark, but there's nothing, um, so that's fine. So instead, we would just do regular little bit of looting. If we find anything, here's some loot already. Oh my god. Oh my god. He was... he was a little bit brutal. Um, but that's fine. We've got some extra health anyway. So we'll, we'll dig up these money piles. We should probably just more aim for the monoliths. I think early game aiming for the monoliths is probably the easier bet. I hear a slime. Slimes are bad because if you kill them they just drop a... Um, they just drop... A poison cloud which is not great we don't really want to be poisoned poison poison okay lots of spawners here let's try and take this methodically what are you a gummy bear okay for now we're just oh lovely our second shulker piece okay that means that already this vault is probably very worth it for us because oh my god gummy bears what's happening is there a spawner still here no it doesn't look like it technically i think we can no we can't not these ones oh okay i see you i don't know why this is a a gummy vault. Um, I need to remember to keep healing up. Oh, this is so much fun. Just the, the looting aspect alone is great fun. Um, okay, nice. 
where the axe is making the vaults a bit easier because we're not having to do as many swings to kill people anymore. And the knockback's actually very helpful. I forget that we've, we've just got knockback on this. Uh, nothing's trapped, so we're nice and safe just to kind of easily loot right now. Um, okay, cool. So, oh, there's a, a monolith? Not a monolith, a thing. What is this? Refills your mana. Oh, okay. So let's do that at least, and we'll just take the refill. We need to move on to another room at some point. Okay, cool. I don't know if all spawners right now are um, fizzle spawners because I'm low level or what, but I'll take it. It's not going to hurt me in any way. Uh, let's just throw out the sticks for now. Uh, and that. And what else is useless? These two blocks. Just trying to make sure we get as much as possible out of this. Uh, ooh, sneaky. Uh, break that. Silver scrap. Oh, that's very annoying. We've, we've spoken about how we never get any of that. And now we seem to be doing fine. Let's start to put some things in here. Okay, cool. Um, and then just this one? No, we've done this one. I think that's all of the, the stuff down here. So we should head back upstairs. Yeah, let's go back up. I think we're doing quite well uh, at vaulting as well. We, we probably take a little bit more damage than needed right now, but we're getting better. No one's perfect. Uh, let's have a little gander, and then I think we're going to move on, because I'd like to try and... We've spent five minutes here already, and I'd like to either A, get some ornate chests, get some more vault gear, or B, finish this vault. Ah, <gasps> oh, another shulker shell. That's really good. Okay. Oh, look at the speed of that. Look at the speed. Speed is key. Okay, so just like we did before, we'll go straight across again. Oh, did we do this over here? No, we didn't. Okay. I didn't think there was anything on this initial floor. Uh, nothing major. We could do with speeding this axe up. Cool. Keep moving. Keep moving. Come on. We gotta. We gotta find some some monoliths if possible. We've got 20 minutes to find two. One every 10 minutes, please. Oh, okay. This is a uh, two health points. We can do that. Grab the the thing. Oh, I think this is a, one of like a, this is like a rare vault that you get with all the gummies and stuff. Um, that's kind of cute. Now, now that I understand what's happening, initially confused, um, but that's fine. We could do with leveling up our heal, actually, a little bit, I think. That's one thing that I'd maybe like to look into. For now, though, let's make sure that we're bashing some boys. I think that was Benia type. Uh, what's happening? Leomar. Oh, okay. Not Benia type. Oh, lovely, there's a monolith. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Good start, good start. Maybe we leave this room straight away uh, once we hit this. It might be just worth to leave. Plus two regeneration for six minutes. Nice. Not six minutes, 60 seconds. You fool. Uh, let's see. Leomar. Oh, Beniotite, there you go. Right? We're not getting it, though. Is it, like, not confirmed chance of getting it? There's one. Right, Venia type. We need four of those, technically. Uh, just have a quick browse. 
Not trying to stay here too long. Ooh. Painite, maybe? Don't know. I think that's everything we're getting from here. Yeah, cool. So we've got one obelisk already. A uh, monolith, sorry. Not obelisk. Realistically looking for shulker shells. Uh, take that. Oh my god. Um. Right, there we go. Oh, we did get that paint. Cool, okay. Uh, I think we just move on now that we've done this top section. If we find a, an obelisk, we should probably just keep going. Because we can always loot afterwards, but we can't loot... We can't find them if we lose, sort of thing. Um, so, speed is key a little bit. Because at least we're not hitting any four obelisk alter, um, rooms right now. Because that would be bad. Okay, right. Have a little browse. Nothing on this top floor. Let's see if I can observe her. Can't see anything? Okay, well, we're gonna go down first. Uh, let's see if we can have a look down. Uh, let's make sure that we're back onto heal. Twenty-one damage. It's it's just good. Uh, do that. Do that. Hello. Any obelisks down here? That would be nice. I thought that wasn't a fizzle for a second. Jump hits are what we are about. Ooh, Bounty Pearl. Means we can re-roll, I'm pretty sure. Um, cool. Uh, da, 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 da. Ow. Uh, Benny Tight, remember. Dark blue is what we're looking for, if we can find any. Some sort of chocolate? Get rid of the chocolate water for a second. Nothing useful in here at all? Okay, pointless. A little bit of an annoying waste of time, but we need the Beniotype for our bounty, so if we could have found it, it would have been nice. Uh, I don't really care for anything over there. We're just going to move on. We'll go upstairs, check for a monolith. If not, move on. It's all about being a little bit ruthless at the start, especially when we've got the option to, what, get 5,000 experience? Has to be ruthless. Dead. Uh, and I, I can't be asked to dig the money pile. Okay, move on, move on. Uh, we need to keep going west, right? thought that was the thing for a second. Yeah, keep going west. Speed is key, uh, and in, in that mentality, we can use our dash. There you go. See, with a bit of a jump and a sprint, it's actually pretty good. Uh, okay. Obelisk. Look on, the, look on the bottom floor for a second. No. Observer. I don't know if that's actually doing anything for us, um, because I, I would have expected it to light that up. But... That's fine. Let's just maybe quickly go and snag this. Four bonus hearts, sure. There it is. Okay, cool. That's the monolith done, so that's the room done. So now we just need to leave whenever we're ready. What's this room? Oh my god. Please no. Please no. Don't hurt us now. Uh, 
I do like the gummy bears. They are kind of cute. I'll give them that. They've done a good job with the models. Uh, we could do with putting more stuff in here. Let's put it down for a second. Yeah, so we can just quickly do that. Cool. And now we can loot a little bit easier. Perfect. Uh, we can really take our time now with this looting, though, because we don't have to worry about finishing the vault anymore, because it is finished. We just need to worry about leaving when when the time comes. Um, and we've done a straight line anyway, so it shouldn't be too bad to get back. Just head all east. So now actually would be the best time to look for Beniatite or, again, Ornate Chest, but we haven't found a single bloody Ornate Chest. Oh wait, uh... Might be worth taking another... Oh, it's another silver scrap, which is really annoying. We probably could have completed that one. Um, I'm thinking about taking this. Um, we don't need the rail. I think having another one of those is probably quite good. Oh, so this... This, if you have the, the, there's special keys you can make. If you have a key, you can go in there, and there's really good loot in there. Um, but of course, we don't have the, the key. Oh, another digging room, though. Little digging spot. We might be able to get our Benia type from here. It will tell you in the vault when you complete it. A lot of Leomar, which, to be fair, we need anyway for the Knowledge Stars. So let's not be too mad. There's another Benia type. Uh, I think we need one more. And with this pick, very quick at finding, uh, but nothing. Okay. What are we at? Nine minutes? Okay, let's go back up then. So, vault completed. Cool. Ow. Really bashed me a little bit there. Um, uh, and we're actually at the end of this corridor as well, aren't we? So, yeah. Oh, we didn't mark, did we? Not that it's that necessary, but... Uh, oh, 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 there you go. All east. Um, is there any up to this area? I don't think there is an up... To, well, there is up there. I don't see anything. Let's go back one. And we'll we'll pop into the the sides. Let's do that, shall we? See if we can find anything good. Ow! This is where we're going to need to start remembering to mark, because if we forget, we'll get lost very easily. Although we know we only have to go to the middle, but still, middle row all the way east. But it's easier to do that because you start to panic when. Time starts to run down. I don't know how rare this uh, this room type is, though. Like um, the the gummy bear. Man, we missed like three hits there. Is that silver scrap again? No, I was going to say, furious. Um, don't want to. I, I like to find the the proper way down. So that I know how to get back out really easily. <laughs> or else I'm gonna panic down in a hole somewhere. No. Uh, there is an up though, right? Do you know what? We'll go to the other side. I can't be asked. That room didn't seem to have anything good in it, and we're realistically, at this point, all going for ornate. Uh, let's heal up. Those extra hearts actually help us tons. Uh, oh, we don't have our our beef. There you go. Let's do that. 
make sure they're eating properly. We've got seven minutes, so we'll do this room probably, and then we'll start to head back. And if we have time, we'll do the rooms either side of the entrance. There you go. There's another one of those, but we don't need anything from here. Just looking for Nate. Nothing on ground floor, it seems. We'll start to head down. Oh, there's another monolith. Sweet. I don't think we can even activate it. No, we can't. I thought maybe bonus XP, but no. Uh, I think Vault Dust is very handy, but we just don't have the space. We'll have so much more room when we can make that second... Um, uh, shulker box. Oh, there's another piece of a shulker box. Have to prioritize that. Because if we can get a third shulker box, especially in just this one room. Regen, nice. Normally this would be quite good because I want a lot of zombie flesh right now for um, trading. But uh, the looting isn't helping us with that right now. What type of chests are these then? Are just regular? Eh, pointless. Um, someone's drowning. I see normal chests over here. No one ate chests at all though. It's very annoying. Uh, but yeah, so the, the fact that there's another monolith here shows you that sometimes there'll be more, sometimes there'll be less. So some vaults will end up just being easier because of that. Some will end up being... Oh, there's another altar actually there. We should probably at least do that. Because um, these are good for getting uh, totems done dying and stuff. Uh, two health points, that's fine. I think this is the second one of this type as well that we'll get. Uh, let's just chuck that in there. Any... Anything good? Mostly by that I mean shulker boxes. Nope. Just having a look around. I don't think there's anything. I think we should start heading towards the exit anyway. So we go this way one. And then we cross all the way east. So that way. Other way. Other way. But we'll know because marker, yay! And this should hopefully level us. Well, definitely level us up again. Um, I don't know how many levels we'll get, but I think we've got the four skills that I like the idea of right now. Um, I don't want to get too many skills because of course you want to also level them up a bit more as well. Um, like I'd, I'd maybe like to upgrade the heal. Um, just because, of course, it's the most useful one. Uh, and I think it will give me more hearts and a quicker cooldown, which is both a win-win. Uh, I don't think there's anything in this vault that I really care to pick up either, though. Out of the, like, block palette. So, as I always like to do, let's chuck that down and go through. And we'll get our box. 7,000 experience. Let's have a little rundown here. So, coin piles collected 13, chests looted 62. So, 52 wooden chests, 5 gilded, 5 living, not a single ornate. A little bit sad. Uh, damage taken 25, but without our heal we would have died. Uh, but damage given a lot. We killed 53 people in total. Very nice. So, let's do our looting. Let's open the most important thing. Okay, a sword? A chest plate? Oh, this is good. Oh, and it's a rare plus chest plate. Okay, let's... It's gonna be better than whatever we have right now, because we're just using iron. So that's great. Uh, furnace transmog. So what is it? Well, let's do what we normally do. Uh, so currently 16 defense, 25 hearts for... Well, I mean... Uh, so this is an epic, it's great, 
three armor, crit resistance, health, mana, item rarity, and soul bound. So that's going to boost us. Oh, only one point. But a lot more hearts overall. Can't really complain. Let's now roll the sword, which I don't think will end up being better than the axe right now. But we can always hope. If it was an Omega, it would be probably pretty good. Um, so it's Poison Cloud. So it gives us 28, uh, 23.6 damage. Oh, it's, it's actually better, to be fair. Um, I suppose it's a level higher. So attack speed is quicker. Oh, and it's plus two attack damage, plus three. I don't know, actually. I think for now we'll keep using the axe. Um, but we'll we'll keep the sword in mind as a, a possibility. We'd need to enchant it, though, as well. Well, we could do that now, actually. Looting three. It would get looting immediately, which is the thing I was worried about losing. Looting three and knockback. What did this one get? Unbreaking as well. Yeah, I mean, they're not bad. Uh, if we compare it now real quick, just to see if that made a difference. Uh... 23.6 to 18.9. It's a big, it is a big boost. Um, we might end up using this. Poison Cloud, Soulbound, Attack Speed. It just looks better, the axe, right? Uh, attack damage is higher, but this attack damage, it's maybe because the attack speed is higher quite a bit. Yeah, it's quite a bit faster, isn't it? Versus... Yeah, it is a bit faster. Okay, well, we'll consider that. We got some gems, so let's have a look at those real quick. Uh, so what have we got? We've got picking, ugh, very big gem. Coin affinity, very big gem. Vanilla immortality. So my understanding of vanilla immortality is if you can get 100% vanilla immortality, on a pick or whatever, it will never break, or it'll have men mending on it, I think. Item quality, item rarity, and it's quite small. Shoveling, quite big. We could, we could put this on there, and it's shining for some reason. So let's do that. Let's put the item rarity on there. Oh, so it's, oh, I see. So it's a legendary, it's a tier three, and it's between 2.1 to 3. So actually quite reasonably on the high end. Um, let's do that. Make our pick a little bit better for what we're doing with it. Uh, let's put this in here. Let's now try and organize this the best we can. Coin affinity, we'll go with these ones. Vanilla mortality can go down here. Item quality. I don't know if you can combine these, actually. Let's see. Uh, no, you can't. I'm just curious. Um, that's fine for now. Kind of a bit of a waste, some of those. But we are now... Oh, emeralds, lovely. And, uh... Oh, a relic! I was like, what's that? Useless. So that's another relic. So that's from the elemental relic set. So we have the cupcake. Uh, and the water... One of the water... So not enough to make anything yet, but we're getting there. Uh, we can, for now, just chuck... Oh, not that. Uh, this into here, just to have a bit more coins. Uh, we can chuck this in here. And we're looking good on stuff. Okay, so I think that's where we're going to call this episode. Um, we've done a lot. We've done enchanting. Can we enchant the chest plate, actually? Let's see. I thought we can. So if I, if I tick myself over to 30, let's take this, and then we can enchant Thorns 2. I mean, Thorns 2 is still good, to be fair. I'll take that. It's still a, it's still a buff. Um, it's annoying we can't enchant the leggings, but it's what it is. So now all we're missing technically out of Vault Gear, because we... Can we do the shield? No. Uh, because we've got the, the shield... We've got the rest of it. Uh, we've got an axe. All we're missing is vault boots now. Man, these are about to die. Do you know what we could do for the sake of... Do I waste the diamonds? No. I reckon we just make another fresh pair of iron boots. 
for the sake of it, because uh, I'm hoping we will eventually get uh, some diamond boots, I don't know. Um, but we're looking geared out now. Oh, wait, back of our head, front of our face. Ugh. Look at us, we've got, we're looking big boy. The, the pants are probably the worst part. <laughs> <laughs> but we're looking good okay well thank you for watching this episode and i will see you guys in the next one goodbye oh wow you've actually made it this far okay um three things um don't forget to maybe watch another video i don't know which side i'm on these ones this or this there's a box with a video um, consider subscribing and maybe like the video. Leave a comment. I'll, I'll say hello. Anything. Go. Go wild. <laughs>